Welcome to this Wood Solutions campus presentation on selling and supplying timber and wood products that are fit for purpose in an internal application. This table is from an earlier presentation and shows the importance of key performance requirements for internal applications. Internal applications are those where the timber is sheltered but still exposed to changing moisture conditions in building and potentially to regular wear and tear. Coping with moisture induced movement in floors and resisting wear and tear are both important factors in internal applications but have been covered in other presentations. They won't be covered here again. However, changing moisture conditions and regulations around this are discussed in detail in this presentation. Internal applications include uses such as the structural frame in the building's envelope, flooring, skirtings and architraves and joinery and fittings in wet areas such as bathrooms and laundries. The products used can include sawn hardwood and softwood boards, plywood, fiberboard products and other materials. Having determined that the use is an internal application, some key performance requirements are clear while others have to be confirmed by asking follow-up questions. The performance requirements that are obvious are that the timber or wood product is to be used inside and is therefore effectively protected from exterior weather. However, it may be exposed to moisture depending on its location. Given this, durability should not be a major consideration except from termite attack for a structural frame. Key building regulations will apply. Structural requirements apply for the building frame and flooring. This is dealt with in another presentation. Ventilation requirements exist for the subfloor of the building to keep it dry and material restrictions apply to wet areas. These last two points are important here. Though the timber or wood product are used inside, moisture can still have a large impact on product performance, especially as more and more areas and appliances with running water are being introduced in homes and offices. The follow-up questions to ask include, is the application exposed to moisture in wet areas or areas likely to be damp? If so, what are the details? Moisture either as water vapour, liquid water or as steam can occur in many areas inside a building. It can occur in wet areas from showers, taps and washing machines. It can also occur in and around kitchen joinery from sinks, kettles, dishwashers and other appliances. Some of these can generate steam, liquid water and heat near the timber product. Condensation can also be a problem. This occurs regularly at windows where warm moist air and cold surfaces meet. However, condensation can also occur in roof spaces, in walls and under floors, depending on the differences in climates and conditions inside and outside the building. Moisture can cause a number of problems for timber and wood products. Some products have very little resistance to moisture and can deteriorate very quickly in high moisture conditions when exposed to regular water. In these cases, many fibre and particle board products are highly susceptible to swelling. They and similar products can delaminate, grow surface mould or in extreme cases begin to decay. Solid timber surfaces can swell and distort. Water can also get through clear finishes applied to the wood and discolour surfaces. To a, uh, had to go up north recently to uh, just on a business trip, stayed at a motel and I'm in the bathroom area and look down at the architraves. They're swelled up. Why have they swelled up? Because they've used MDF in a bathroom situation, uh, in a public facility like that. They're going to use a lot of water. Totally inappropriate use of that product. Oh, you shouldn't use veneer in wet areas. No. Um, shouldn't use it in high wear, high wear areas such as, you shouldn't put it on a floor obviously, a high wear horizontal surface, kitchen countertop would not be good, wouldn't, actually you shouldn't use it, you should definitely not use it in a wet area. You can use it in um, an area that is damp at times and then dries out, yeah. so, um, if it's on a HMR substrate and yeah. properly sealed and coated, I would warn people against using veneers above steamy things like uh, dishwashers. Yep. There's a constant hot steam. It's eventually, no matter how perfect the coating is, every coating eventually water gets in. Once the water's entered veneer or timber, the timber starts to move. Then with that slight movement it develops micro cracks. Once it's got micro cracks, more moisture comes in and the whole thing then 
starts apart. to come apart. Yeah. The National Construction Code, or NCC, contains specific requirements about moisture in buildings covering the performance of cladding and flashings to exclude moisture from the external envelope, subfloor ventilation and the provision of damp proof courses and other means of keeping groundwater out of the buildings, and material use and moisture barriers in bathrooms and laundries. Many surfaces in wet areas have to be either waterproof or water resistant. This restricts the use of wood products unless they are fully protected by a moisture barrier, especially on the floor and around showers. Timber products in wet areas exposed to occasional moisture, such as kitchens, need to be moisture resistant. In summary, internal applications are those where the timber is sheltered but exposed to changing moisture conditions and potentially regular wear and tear. Moisture induced movement in floors and wear and tear are important aspects but are covered in other presentations. To select a suitable product, questions need to be asked about the application's proximity to sources of moisture. Moisture either as water vapour, liquid water or as steam can occur in many areas inside a building. Building regulations set requirements for wet areas and material in other areas prone to moisture need to be moisture resistant.